Plaque show the discovery and development of effective HIV treatments helps people living with it. Last month, a medical meeting brought together scientists and doctors to share the latest advances in research and progress. Today, I spoke with VIV Healthcare's chief medical officer about what they learned. Dr. Harmony Gargis, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, appreciate your insight on this very important issue. We'll talk about treatment in just a bit, but just in terms of the numbers, have there been any significant changes in recent years in terms of contracting the virus? Hi, well, unfortunately, we haven't made the progress that we had hoped, especially in the United States. There's still 1.2 million people living with HIV in the United States with, you know, over 35,000 new infections um, happening. So uh, while we've made some progress in treatment and prevention, um, unfortunately, the numbers remain fairly, fairly stable, fairly constant. And when you talk about prevention, are there, are there still vulnerable communities, certain demographics that are particularly vulnerable? Yes, there are. So importantly, HIV does not discriminate. So uh, anyone can certainly contract HIV, but we know the demographics that um, are most at risk tend to be among black and Latino uh, men who have sex with men, um, although there's a large number of uh, women of color as well who are acquiring HIV. So what is happening on the treatment front that has improved the quality of life for those who mm. are dealing with, living with HIV? Thankfully, we've had incredible advances in HIV treatment. In the early days, we didn't have any therapy. Then we moved to therapies that could suppress the virus, but they were complicated. They required multiple pills, multiple times a day, taken at all different times. And it was very difficult for people to adhere to these regimens and they had side effects that also uh, were quite distressing to those taking the regimens. We've now evolved to a space in therapy where most people living with HIV can be on one pill taken once a day. And we now even have long acting regimens so people can get uh, injections taken every two months uh, to treat their HIV. So we've really made significant progress in HIV therapy over the last 40 years. In terms of research and development of uh, treatment, is the international medical community um, uh, doing its part to fund the ongoing research and, and pharmaceuticals developing various medications? Absolutely. There's still um, a scientific and medical focus on bringing new treatment options to people living with HIV, focused on uh, different medicines, and again, really focusing in on that long-acting space so that we can hopefully uh, ensure people take their medicines even less frequently than what they have to do today. Um, but we have to remain vigilant, you know, especially in light of COVID and other type of infectious diseases. We, it's important for people to know that HIV is still a really important disease that still requires continued research. So what's your advice if somebody's diagnosed uh, with HIV? What's, the, what's really the first thing they should do? So the first thing they should do is talk to their doctor and, and get on an effective therapy that works for them. It's really important to get on your medication to suppress your virus so that you can't transmit uh, this infection to other people.